What's up guys? Welcome to the next video in the ESP32 and LVGL series. Today, I'll show you how to create a simple login form to input the SSID and Wi-Fi password. Then, we'll save them into the ESP32 EEP ROM so that the device can reconnect to the Wi-Fi network without repeat uploading the firmware if it loses power. Here, I created two panels. One panel contains icons and labels to display status. In the second panel, I created two text area widgets for users to input data using a keyboard widget. As you can see, when I click on the text area, the keyboard will appear. When I click outside the text area, the keyboard will hide. So, how to create and configure events for keyboard, image, text label objects on Squareline Studio. I have made detailed tutorial videos in previous videos that you can rewatch for better understanding. To watch previous tutorial videos, you can visit my channel, choose a playlist, and then select the playlist you want to watch. I have created two playlists, one for the CYD board and one for regular non-touch screens with rotary encoder. Click on the playlist you want to watch. Then I return to Squareline, export the UI, copy it into the project folder, and edit the code. In the first part of the code, go to UI.C. Here, I create an event to receive input values from the keyboard, as I explained in the previous video. I need to use these values in main.cpp. Therefore, I create two functions, get Wi-Fi SSID and get Wi-Fi password, to receive the SSID and password values from the keyboard. Currently, the variables SSID and password are local variables. I need to use them in main.cpp. So, I have to convert these two variables into global variables. First, go to the UI.h file and paste the variables and functions you need to use here as shown in the video. Returning to the main.cpp file, I'll briefly explain the functionality of some functions. The source code is provided in the description, which you can download for reference. First, this is the function to save the SSID and password into EEPROM. Next is the function to read the saved data from EEPROM and the function to erase all saved data from EEPROM. In this part, there's a task to handle Wi-Fi after connection. If the Wi-Fi is connected, it will change the icon, update the label, and save the Wi-Fi information into EEPROM. Okay, that's the complete video overview on how to create a simple login form to enter the SSID and Wi-Fi password with the CYD board. If you found the information useful, don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for taking the time to watch the video. See you next time.